So today we're going to work on actually identifying the points from the x-axis and y-axis of an ordered pair uh, when figuring out where a point is located on the coordinate plane. So on the screen you'll see the coordinate plane with the x-axis and the y-axis already denoted for you. Now look very carefully because it's skip counting by two so you won't see point one or three or five as an actual number. You're gonna have to count those um, kind of in your head. <clears throat> so let's start off with just point A. So point A is right up here in the top of your screen. The first thing we're gonna do is find where on the x-axis point A is located. So I start at the origin right here in the middle and I like to count as if this is actually a number line um, on a book or a piece of paper. So one, two, Oh, okay, it looks like point A would be on 2 in the x-axis. Let me get rid of my notes here. And then on Y, I'm going to see, all right, well, how tall is it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So if I look here on the Y-axis, point A is at 7 on Y. So now I know point A is located on two and seven. So I'm gonna actually write that as an ordered pair. So first you make your parentheses and then you always write X first. So two, seven. So if I gave these directions to somebody, they would know to go to two on the X axis and up seven. So let's move to point B on the coordinate plane. So I see point B over here. Okay, but it looks like I have to go backwards to get there because it's in quadrant two. I have to go negative, okay, below zero. So same thing, I start on my x-axis always and I count backwards. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I'm going to negative four because it's on the left side. And then for my y-coordinate, let's count up. One, two, three, four, five, six so it's on six on the y-axis you can either count up or use the number line right here to kind of help you with that so my ordered pair for point b is negative four six remember that x coordinate always goes first when you're giving directions to someone you want it to be consistent that's why they have x first the next point that we're going to look for is point d there is no point c on this graph unfortunately so point d is down here going to be using two negative numbers because I'm not only going backwards, now I'm also going down, okay, below the x-axis. So let's get our x-coordinate first. So I start at the origin right in the middle. One, two, three. So I know the x-coordinate is negative three. And the y-coordinate, let's see how far down we have to go. One, two, three. Oh, it's also negative three for the y-coordinate. So my whole ordered pair would be negative three, negative three. Okay, now point E might look a little bit confusing at first, but it's actually some of my favorite points are when they're on the axis like this, because I think it's easier to count. So <clears throat> remember the middle of our, our coordinate plane here is called the origin. It's where everything is at zero. So zero, and I can go this way and count up. I can go this way and count up, but no matter what, where I start on the coordinate plane, that middle point there is zero. So if you look at our point E, it's not over here, it's not over here, it's not in the third quadrant or the fourth. It didn't move off the x-axis at all. I don't have to go to one or negative one. So for x, my point here is on zero for the x-axis. It didn't move left or right. And then on y, it climbed the y-axis one, two. So my ordered pair for point E is zero, two. So now time for the last point, point F, which is over here in the fourth quadrant. Remember we find x first, so I'm gonna start at my origin at zero and just count over. And I find out that I'm at point seven here on the x-axis. And now I'm going down. I'm gonna use my y-axis over here to kind of figure that out. Okay, so I'm on negative five. So the ordered pair for point F is seven, negative five. If you need to, while you guys are doing this, um, when I was in school, I used to just have a sample ordered pair 
that had X and Y so I didn't forget the order or think about it like on the alphabet, X comes first.